Hello everyone. My name is Shreyas Bard. Welcome to Maharashtra S Academy. So we have started a new series of general science as a subject. In the previous video, I have discussed all the important or high yielding topics from general science. So in this particular video, we are going to begin with the first topic of general science. In general science subject, we are starting with physics. and inside the physics topic we are going to start with the basic outline and a basic topic of measurements so let us begin but before that let me talk about myself so my name is shreyas bar i am the founder and board member of maharashtra science academy i have done my graduation in mechanical engineering and post graduation in cad cam I have five years of experience for UPSC coaching and seven years of total teaching experience. So we are going to begin with physics here, and our first topic would be units and measurements, which is a very basic topic of this particular subject. So let us start. First of all, let us talk about introduction of this topic. So what are units? So units are predefined standards of measurements. they are applied and utilized to do systematic study of natural things so units are predefined standards of measurements and they are applied and utilized to do systematic study of the natural things because when we talk about physics physics is nothing but the systematic study of natural things so different sets of units have been designed for example mks cgs and fps so mks is a system where length is measured in meters mass is measured in kilograms and time is measured in second in cgs length is measured in centimeters mass is measured in grams and time is measured in seconds in fps length is measured in foot mass is measured in pound and time is measured in seconds so length mass and time are the three basic fundamental physical quantities which have been utilized so units are classified for better study so how they are classified into fundamental and derived and it helps to express the physical quantities so that was the small introduction regarding units now let us talk about physical quantities so what is a physical quantity it's a property of a material or a system that can be quantified for measurements so it's a property of a material or a system that can be quantified physical quantities can be fundamental or derived they can be scalar or vector so what is a fundamental quantity fundamental physical quantity is that quantity which is independent in nature it means it does not depend on any other physical quantity for expression what is derived quantity derived quantities are dependent quantities which are depend upon any other physical quantities for their expression now what are scalar quantities these quantities can be expressed with the help of magnitude only for example length mass and time they are called as scalar quantities then what are vector quantities which require magnitude as well as direction for their complete expression are called as vector quantities for example force velocity momentum etc so let us have some examples of physical quantities first of all we'll talk about fundamental quantities so fundamental quantities are length which is measured in meter mass in kilogram time in second temperature in kelvin electric current in ampere luminous intensity in candela amount of substance in mole you can also see the different kind of symbol used for this physical quantities so that was regarding fundamental quantities now let us talk about derived quantities so derived quantities are first is force measured in newtons energy in joules speed meter per second frequency hertz momentum kg meter per second pressure pascal power watt surface tension newton per meter electric charge coulombs electric potential volt electric resistance in ohm so this was regarding derived quantities let's talk about scalar and vector quantities so what are scalar quantities the first is distance measured in meter 
speed meter per second, mass in kilograms, energy in joules, density mass per volume, power in watt, length area volume in meter or meter square or meter cube, time is measured in seconds, temperature in kelvin and work in joules. So all the scalar quantities means they require only magnitude for their complete expression. Next is vector quantities, so displacement measured in meters, velocity meter per second, weight in kilograms, acceleration meter square second, then force is measured in newton, pressure in pascal, momentum kg meter per second and gravity in newton. So this was the basic introduction of scalar quantities, vector quantities, fundamental and derived quantities. We have also talked about unit and its uh, definition. So this video or this lecture was regarding the basic introduction of measurement techniques and all these concepts. So hope you like this video. So if you like it, then please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notified after every new video. Thank you.